everybody, it is Irvin2893, and we are back with the Uncharted Let's Play. For I mean, I guess that's our first death already. Oh, we never saw this up here. Alright, so clearly, I have no clue what I'm doing. Alright. And we're climbing a tight rope. Oh wait, actually let me put sub to bonuses. Nope. Options. Uh, display. Hmm. Game. Yeah, there we go. Subtitles. So they are on. Yeah, not the brightest thing in the world, me. So, you know, whatever. Uh, treasure, treasure, treasure. Not using a guide or anything, just going by anything. Do, do, do. Let's climb up here to see what there is. There clearly is something up there. Nate, just climb. Oh, I think this is where I have to go, actually. Not really sure. I think this is where we have to go. Yep. Uh, and there it is. Oh, there it is. Treasure, treasure, treasure. I know there was a treasure here before. It was back here and I died a couple times trying to get it. Mm -hmm. Nope, go up there. Up there, there we go. Alright, so this game looks beautiful and according to my friends, it looks a lot better in 3D. I unfortunately do not have a 3D TV. Okay. And there's something shiny. It's shiny and it's new and it's mine. Actually, the item's probably old, but, you know, whatever. Do 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 do. Wrong game. <laughs> Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. You are, boy. You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. Puncher. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Alright, so first time I played this, I had no idea what I was doing. Ah, crap. Yep. Alright, the bench stopped me. It's not fair. What you're supposed to do is climb up here. Then I got to here, didn't know what to do, but you're supposed to do this. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Up the stairs. 
Nope. Square, 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 square. Go, go. Uh, jump. Oh, fuck. Uh, where am I supposed to go? There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh. This is where we're supposed to go. Oh crap, 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 climb. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Fuck. Ah. Actually, there might be a little swearing sometimes because it just happens. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. I don't know if there's any treasures down there, but I'm not really gonna look. If there is, I probably already missed them. Ah! Oh, nope. Nate, no, don't do that. Yeah. Oh. No, crap. to hurt in the morning. It sucks to be that guy. Glass. Run! There you go! Ooh. Whoa, now they're shooting at me. Now they're shooting at me. Now they're shooting at me. Ow. Ah. Ah. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Solomon. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but 
Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis? Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Uh, so, like a boarding school? That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen, big. Like millions in plundered treasure that hasn't ever been recovered, big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. <clears throat> Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Yeah, so the episode was a lot longer, but unfortunately YouTube will not let me upload it. So this is the end of episode 3, and we shall have episode 4, I guess, up next week. See you guys next time.